cycles of flawed perspectives. A multitude of words scrambled to resemble order will eventually drown, get lost in disorder. As the brittle views, ideas that are written down crumble to the slightest touch. Indeed, it may be too much to assume, criticize, analyze, deconstruct, mock the bedrock of thought, knowledge. Regardless of its kind, creed, systems of value, validity, and adherence to truthfulness. First, I must accept the weakness of my character that fails to stand on two feet, its limping in the face of adversity, on crutches, impeded, bogged down by the myriad of masks that I wear when I stare into the all-consuming abyss of my own flaws. Shortcomings that short-circuit a vision of clarity, a dream of becoming, hope for belonging in the bosom of the Great Mother, fortitude longing to become strength. Second, I should recognize that the voice of the great critic always offers a choice. How easily, how hard it falls silent in the absence of the internal monologue fueled by the monotonous, repeating, analog shades of not being good enough. The movement of whose eyes do I follow, as my, their, fixate on a point that does not bulge, will not indulge into anything constructive. The destructive impulse is given, I'm driven to crash full force, head banging against the wall, which I have built groomed with the enormous amount of guilt, shame, radiating from my former selves. Third, being unable to escape the unstable cycles of flawed perspectives quickly grows boring. Everything they offer are drunken lines. They do not speak, instead they stutter imitating a speech that will be written tomorrow by an ideal oozing sorrow. Echoes of fragmented time, divided into separate sound bites, in a soundproof, soundproof room, falling on the deaf ears of a mute trying to speak. Stop. The mechanism behind the gulp is bound to rust. The cost of being driven to write fluctuates between not being worthy and accepting the absolute failure of your every choice. Rightly so. That will not stop me. It cannot. Occasionally, by pure coincidence, I will stumble into something worth saying. That alone, alone reflection on liquid in a plastic cup, caught by eyes willing to seek, through cycles of flawed perspectives, the absurd and bleak visions pierced by a single ray of light, its source, a light bulb stubborn enough to stay lit, until electricity ceases to flow.